Hey folks, it's Marvin Cash, the host of the Articulate Fly, and we're back with another Western North Carolina fishing report with the Nantahala Sasquatch himself, Gordon Vanderpool. How's it going, Gordon? Oh, I'm I'm living the dream, man. But the squatch is hot. It's been hot here lately. Yeah, we're uh the refrain here in the southeast is we are officially in the dog days of summer. Yeah, buddy. So obviously, you know, you're probably getting pop up thunderstorms, you know, maybe you get a lot of rain a couple days, but it, I guess probably the refrain for the most of the summer is going to be low and clear, right? Yeah, I mean, unless it shapes into a very moist pattern, but which it could do, but yeah, pretty much you're into the dog days and it's going to last all the way through August and into September. And uh, yeah, it's, it's grind time. Yeah, so I guess that's really going to be more about kind of where are the fish and what kind of technique modifications do we need to track them down? Definitely. Yeah, technique is going to be more important now than ever. Um, So you got the guys that slip in there with the indicators and stuff. Unless they're on a batch of fresh stocked fish, I mean, it's just not going to be successful. So, you know, the technique's very important. So the fish are really looking up on the small wild water. So, get a good fly with a good silhouette and a good drift light tip it seven X eight X is a great idea. Um, if you're still wanting to nymph do single nymph with good drifts, good control, and you'll still catch fish, but it's a matter of being in the right place at the right time. So pocket water, uh, the deep slow pools are going to be a problem. They're going to be tough unless things change and you get big, heavy rain flows are up, you know, so just keep an eye on that. It can change at any moment. Yeah, and I assume, too, like look for spring seeps and things like that where the water might be a little bit cooler. Absolutely, especially on those bigger, lower elevation streams. If you got any small wild trout streams that flow into those, yeah, absolutely. Where that cold water flows in, those fish will stack up in there. Um, if it's a cold enough flow coming in, yeah, those fish will be in there. And if, if it's a decent enough water temperature, you know, and the fish are safe in that zone, then fish for them. If not, let them rest. Let them chill out. But it's that time you got to keep your eyes open, carry a thermometer, temp that water. Yeah, probably what above 66, 67 is pretty much going to be no good, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, everybody's always like that magic number is like 70, but I don't go that high. If that if that water temperature gets to that 65, 66 degree mark, I try not to pressure them and try to go somewhere else where I can at least find low 60s because those fish, at that point, you know, you, you'd catch them, turn them loose, and you know, they survive, but you're putting a lot of stress on them they don't need. It's hard enough for them to just make it through the summer without us freaking throwing, throwing little flies at them. So that, I'm, I'm right with that 65, 66 degree mark, and I'm probably on the low side to compare to a lot of guys, but I would like to see, see guys err on the side of caution, you know? Yeah, and, and also, you know, fish stouter tackle if you can get away with it because you don't want to fight those fish forever on really light stuff and kill them too. Absolutely, no. Yeah, when you get those fish, it's not time to sit here and play them out for that camera shot of you fighting a fish. It's time to get them in, keep them wet, and get them back in the water. And I'm not opposed to taking a photo of a fish from, you know, if you know how to do it, get your hands wet real quick, pick that fish out for a couple seconds real quick, get a quick shot, and then throw him back. You know, I'm not opposed to that at all, but just definitely be mindful of what you're doing. Absolutely. And obviously, you know, terrestrials are always good this time of year. Any patterns that you like, uh, nymphing, dry fly, terrestrial? Yeah, like I, and it's going to sound a little repetitive, but just, just the truth, like inchworms still work, black ants, even brown ants. It just depends on where you are. Any type of stuff like that, you know, uh, especially under branches, um, even a tungsten blank black in is such a good pattern in the summer. And my favorite nymph for all around s- s- <clears throat> summer searching is a, a plain hair and copper waltz in a mustard variety. It's like a brown mustard color. That's like probably my favorite pattern. If I'm just looking for feeding fish, I'll throw that. Well, that's... I'll mix up the sizes based on upon the water type I'm seeing. Got it. Well, that's awesome. And folks, if you have a question for Gordon, if you'll shoot it to us on the Articulate Fly Facebook page, and if we read your question, you get a little Articulate Fly swag, and at the end of the season, uh, Gordon, we're going to have a drawing, and the lucky winner is going to get some Gordon Vanderpool original flies. Oh, yeah, and nobody fishes them but the Squatch himself, and that's a lie. I'm lying. But, hey, man, throw me some questions, though, man. I haven't been getting many questions lately. We're definitely ready for those, so that'll be something somebody wants to know. 
Absolutely. And of course, it's not a fishing report without the Nanahala Sasquatch if we don't talk about the most valuable metal. What have you got for us, Gordon? Nice. This is a band. They've been around a bit, but have gotten really like, the, the, man, they're in, I'm into them big time the last couple of years. It's called Alter Bridge. And it's a new song they come out with. It's called Wouldn't You Rather. And it's a good one. As I say about everyone that I recommend, of course, but yeah, it's a good tune. They're all good, and I'll drop the uh, the link to it in the show notes and the YouTube video uh, on the website. And uh, Gordon, why don't you let folks know where they can find you so they can fish with you in the dog days of the summer or this fall? That's right. Yeah, it's flyfishingwnc.com. You can email me from the site or call me. Numbers on the page. So hope to hear from you. We can still catch fish. We're still catching them, but you can't catch them if you don't go. Uh, there you go well folks you need to get out tight lines everybody tight lines gordon same to you bud